All right, your project for art one for the second project of the third quarter is to make greeting cards. You're going to make three greeting cards. So you're going to need three different pieces of computer paper. Right now, I'm just gonna show you the formatting that I want you to do for your first card. Um, overall, you're gonna make three cards. Each card is going to use a separate technique from your Sharpie uh, techniques that we reviewed last week. So one card is going to use uh, stippling, one card will use scumbling, and the last card will use cross-hatching. It's up to you to pick what theme or idea or concept it, you would like for your card um, around any holiday of the year. Um, just making sure that your holiday is school appropriate. Um, Christmas would be great, birthday cards, Valentine's, St. Patty's Day even. Um, just thinking about certain times of the year, certain holidays that a card would be appropriate for. So I'm going to go ahead and choose, I'll choose Valentine's Day just to make it easy for my first card. You can do all three cards as the same holiday or you can do a different holiday for each card or two for the same one. Um, that's your choice, but they should all be some sort of holiday card. And the reason why we're doing these holiday cards is because they will be donated to the school um, to use for thanking people that help us out. So a lot of times we get people who donate money, they donate equipment. Um, we have a lot of people who really care about our school and it's always good to give them a, a nice card to thank them for what they've done. And so we wanna have cards from any holiday of the year that we can give out um, for whenever they decide to donate. With that being said, for your computer paper, you're going to fold it in half. Uh, some of you may have learned that this is folding it in half hamburger style, but we wanna make sure that this is a nice fold for going into a, um, an envelope. So once you fold it at hamburger style, um, please make sure that your corners match up nicely when you fold it. Um, if you fold it like this, you know, that where it's off center, it's really messy looking, you're going to lose points for craftsmanship um, because that's just, that's sloppy and no one wants to receive a sloppy card. So make sure that you fold it nice and neat on those corners. And the way these cards are going to work, these are computer papers that you are using, but um, they're going to be scanned in and copied onto nice card stock that we will fold. So um, the first thing you want to do is decide, do you want your design to be horizontal? or do you want it to be vertical? If your design is horizontal, your seam, your fold needs to be at the top. Okay, so that way we can open it like this. If you want it to be vertical, then your fold has to be on the left side so we can open it like this, okay? First thing you're gonna do before you start drawing or planning it out or anything else, on the back side of your card, you're going to put some information for me. So if your card is horizontal, then this is how you're going to put your information. In the bottom, on the middle, in the middle, you are going to write in Sharpie, because I just realized pencil won't show up, in Sharpie, and you may want to put something underneath your paper, so or unfold your paper, so that way it doesn't bleed through. So I'm gonna unfold it real quick. And this is just the back of my sketchbook, so that way I don't mess up the table or get mess up my card or anything like that. So in the middle, on the back, I'm going to write my name. And please try to print neatly and centered and legible. Then you're going to sign your name. However you like to do your signature your artist signature, think of it that way. Um, do your best to center it, mine was a little off, but that's okay. Um, it's still very close to being centered, okay? And then you're going to write Saint Joseph Academy. Um, we are not Saint Joe's, we are not Saint Joseph's, okay? We are Saint Joseph Academy, that is our school's name. Please spell it correctly please write neatly. Um, 
since this is my sideways card, it goes in the middle on the side like that. If I am going to do a vertical card, then I'm going to fold it. Remember, I'm lining up my corners very nicely. Okay. Then remember, this is my front, so I need it on the back and the middle on the back here. So I'm going to unfold it so I don't make the marker bleed through. If you would like to sketch it out in pencil first and then trace over it in Sharpie, that's fine. But please make sure you write it in Sharpie, otherwise it won't show up. Okay? And you'll lose points. So, for the vertical card, same thing. Make sure you give yourself enough space for all the information that needs to go on here. That it's centered as much as you can on the back. that you put your printed name, your signature, and then St. Joseph Academy, okay? This will let people know that you made the card, it's your original artwork that's gonna be on the front, and that um, it is from our school, okay? So now that we have that very first thing we need done, is done. I can start sketching out my design on the front. So um, for Valentine's Day, um, I don't really want anything, I don't want you guys looking up cards online, just copying something that you already see. I want you thinking about your own original design. Um, if it's something that's maybe similar to something you've seen before, um, that's okay. I'm going to do a couple of hearts with some ribbons around it, but I'm not looking at my Chromebook or looking at any reference pictures. To, to copy it exactly. So I'm just going to kind of go with my imagination for what I think would be a nice design. So you may want to consider some of the concepts that you've learned from your previous projects with um, thinking about focal point. Where do you want our eyes to go? How do you want our eyes to move around the page? What do you want us to look at? Maybe the rule of odds. So I may not want just two hearts. I may want three. Maybe thinking about them in groups or how one is offset. Um, also thinking about movement. So I'm thinking my whole composition, I'm gonna have it move in kind of an S pattern, make it a little bit interesting. And remember, this is all just from my head. I didn't want to look up any references online. I'm just imagining those ribbon ends being like that. And then if you'd like to put text on the front, that's good too. So um, I'll go ahead and put And that fit nicely in that space right there. Um, I have a little bit of negative space here, giving some movement to it overall. Um, and when I go to fill it in with my Sharpie, I'm gonna think about how this might be shaded in, give it that illusion of 3D, and how I can make these words a little bit more decorative. You don't just want, you don't wanna do all this work on your artwork and then have just plain handwritten words, so. Um, I think I'll go ahead and do scumbling for this one. Just keep in mind that you do have to have a different technique for each card that you make. And I'm imagining that my light source is coming from over here, so my scumbling is going to be a little bit lighter on that side. Imagining that this heart curves out this way, my darker side is going to be over here. I can 
overlap where I've already done it. And also remember, I'm not using the Sharpie to outline. I'm not following my pencil lines already. I'm using it as a guide to fill in where I want those values to go. And because this heart is overlapping in front of this one that I'm working on, I'm going to put a little bit more scumbling around and behind it here to show that there's some shadow behind there. So because this heart is getting more shadow behind than this one in front, I need to make sure that relatively the shadow that's behind is darker than the one that's in front, making that edge rather than an outline. So also too, right here, I'm imagining if my light source is coming from this way, that this curve here is going to cast some shadow on this part over here. So it's going to be a little bit darker right there than the rest of it. Imagining that it's curving up around here, I just want to make sure that I'm getting my shading to be realistic. Thinking of this almost as a sphere, that there's going to be that spot of light here, it's going to curve around. So also thinking about my contours, where are those contours going to be? Lots of shadow on this ribbon that's all the way in the back here. I think it's lighter as it goes out. Actually, I think what I'm going to do with my ribbon here, I'm going to use my pencil to sketch it out first, but I think I'm going to make it curl around. Just gives it a little bit more interest. And remember, you don't want to draw too dark with your pencil either. You're going to make sure that it's light enough to where you can erase it. So now I've got this little curve here that gives me some more interest for some shadow here. Just a thought of my imagination. 